Welcome to Sovereign Temples, where I really want to talk to you about living by synodic cycles versus a Gregorian calendar. So many of us are waking up from the matrix. We've woken, we realize, hey, we really are in a matrix, <laughs> right? And if we really want to really experience the multidimensional timeline um, because we are multidimensional beings, exiting from a linear line and getting back more into a, uh, a circumference um, in terms of a circle, right? Every be beginning um, is the ending. Um, it's continuous. There's no gaps in it. Um, you will begin to um, really get a lot more centered and grounded. And it's also because you're, you're living as nature lives. When we are in human bodies, our body is earth, it's water, it's, you know, the, 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 the fire, um, truly, you know, our heartbeat is, you know, an electrical current. And, and we're not living by nature cycles. We, we went on a Gregorian calendar in the 1500s. And it's, really an artificial time that we're sticking to and so when you've woken up to that and you're still sticking by that you're going to feel really disassociated um, and so if you live your life according to nature you would be really living by a synodic lunar month and a synodic lunar month is you literally live by the moon in terms of dark moon to dark moon. Those become your months. I often do not even know what day it is if I did not have my synodic calendar um, because I know what day of the moon it is. And based on that illumination is really how I will schedule my life. And you also will, the, the, I think that the greatest thing about a synodic cycle living is you really come back into when your personal energy is at its highest and when it's often wanting to rest and you come back into your power when you know your energy um, and you begin to uh, have boundaries around your energy or you say yes or no to things based on your personal energy pattern right the same thing um, I also look at my menstrual cycle for women yeah that's something you would want to look at as well too but your body is salt water what does the moon really influence? Salt water. I used to be a nurse in a trauma hospital. There is a difference when it is full moon. You, you can talk to people on the differences that they notice with full moon. There is a different energy happening and it is because we are literally salt water and we are influenced by these lunar um, aspects. And nobody's looking at those. Yeah, you know, we might do some full moon or some new moon meditations, but like every single day of the moon is a day of a certain type of illumination. And then for the solar, you would look at equinoxes, solstices, there's also midpoints for that. But that would be my recommendation is to really start to honor yourself um, if you are looking for more balance and more centeredness to balance your divine masculine, your divine feminine, is live by lunar cycles. And of course, honoring the solar seasons versus this insane idea of, you know, Monday through Friday, uh, Saturday or Sunday. Um, it's, it's just this artificial timeline's got to go for any of us that are exiting the matrix. And so I do have a synodic cycle that you can check out. Um, I couldn't find one anywhere. So I created one for myself and it impacted me so much. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to put this out there because you have to have a way to be able to track the Gregorian timeline in addition to knowing what day of the moon, but a synodic calendar will go from dark moon to dark moon. But my synodic calendar that I have created, um, I'm, I'm obsessed with two things. I'm obsessed with spiritual DNA and I'm obsessed with the womb, <laughs> those two things. Um, so it also, you know, will really help anybody who is either activating their light body technology, who's wanting to come back into connection with their own sacred feminine cycles, um, but just anybody who is tired of really 
making plans and then being like, oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> or I wish I hadn't put that on my calendar. Um, or, you know, it's, it's incredible to have nothing on your calendar when your body likes rest. Oh, and just to be in peace when you're resting and not like feel guilty about it or I should be doing this or when you have your highest energies to have your things going on. And so you can show up in your best possible way. It will begin to help you to do what? Be in a flow with life versus a constant resistance because your schedule has nothing to do with nature cycles right now. It has to do with the Catholic Pope and his, um, you know, artificial months that have nothing to do with the sun or the moon, um, which are our body's natural indicators for living all of nature lives by it except humans and so allow yourself the gift of this synodic um, cycle and begin to live your life with them and watch the transformation it takes like two or three months to kind of get used to it um, but once you do oh my so I'm really excited. We're also creating an app um, for it as well. But um, I'm a big paper calendar person. So I know it'll bless those who gift it to themselves with a more balanced way of living and flow. All my love and light. Namaste.